Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a tricky issue that many developers encounter when working with PDFs in Node.js. Our viewer is trying to encode PDF binary data to Base64 after retrieving it from an API, but they're running into some roadblocks. Let's dive into the details of their question. Okay, we're back with another tech video. Now I'm gonna go through your question, answer it, and hopefully you get the solution. Now remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me and you'll get there to that resolution. All right, let's continue on to the video. Let's start by understanding the issue. You're trying to convert a PDF stream from an API response into a base64 string, but it's not working as expected. The first thing to note is that the body of the API response is a string. When you attempt to convert it using buffer.from, it may not handle the binary data correctly. It Instead, you should ensure that the response is treated as binary data. You can do this by setting the encoding option in your request. Here's how you can modify your request. Once you receive the response as a buffer, you can then convert it to base64. Here's the updated code snippet for that. Finally, when embedding the base64 string in HTML, ensure you use the correct data URI format. It should look like this, data, application, PDF, base64, followed by your base64 string. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To successfully encode PDF binary data to Base64 in Node.js, you need to configure your request properly. This includes setting the response type to array buffer and specifying the content type as application slash PDF. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To encode PDF binary data to Base64 in Node.js, you can use the PDF to Base64 library. First, require the library, then call the PDF to Base64 function with the path to your PDF file. Handle the response with a promise. If successful, log the base64 response. If there's an error, catch it and log the error message. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find the resolution that you're looking for and you got the answer and work your way through. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.